In this tutorial, we're going to build a basic synth voice in VCV Rack. We're picking up where we left off in a previous tutorial with a simple square wave singing out from our speakers. If you're starting from scratch, you'll need a MIDI input module, an external audio module, and an oscillator. If you're working from the previous tutorial, you'll need to disconnect the patch leads from the audio module's inputs. This is done by clicking on either the input or output jacks and dragging the cable off into nothingness or simply right clicking on a connected jack. Let's add the VCA next. This can be found in the fundamental category. This is a dual VCA with duplicate top and bottom sections. We'll drag a patch cable from our VCO1 SQR or square output to the VCA's upper in jack. We'll then patch the VCA's upper out to the audio module's inputs 1 and 2 jacks. We can hear our square wave again. This time, however, we have a level control, which we can turn down. The most important thing about the level control is that we can use a modulator to control it. In this case, we'll call upon that old standard, the ADSR envelope generator. It, too, is found in the fundamental group. Envelopes require a trigger or gate signal and our MIDI module has one, we'll patch it to the ADSR's gate input jack. We'll patch the ADSR's out jack to one of the VCA's inputs, EXP or exponential or LIN, linear. The former is good for short percussive sounds, the latter is good for things like leads and pads. We'll choose linear. We'll turn our VCA's level knob up full. Now we can play the sound from our keyboard and use the ADSR's knobs to shape our volume as on any other synth. Let's now add a delay module from the fundamental modules. We'll disconnect the VCA from the audio module. Now we'll patch the VCA into the delays in and the delays out to inputs 1 and 2 on the audio module. We now have some echo in our sound, which we can adjust to taste. Next, we'll get a VCF or voltage control filter module from the fundamental category. We'll disconnect VCO1's square output from the VCA's input. We'll instead send VCO1's square output into the VCF's in jack. We want a standard low pass filter, so we'll route the VCF's LPF output to the same VCA's input where the VCO used to be patched. If we play our sound, we find that it is now filtered due to the default setting of the VCF's frequency knob. Let's add a second ADSR. We'll drag a cable from the new ADSR's gate input to the same gate output on the MIDI module that we were using to control the VCA. We'll patch the new ADSR's output to the VCF's frequency input jack and turn up the VCF's frequency CV knob. The second ADSR can now be tweaked to shape the filter frequency as we like. Let's grab an LFO from the fundamentals. We'll use LFO1. We'll patch its tri or triangle output to the lower end on our VCA. We'll crank the VCA's lower level. The VCA's lower out will go to VCO1's FM input. VCO1's FMCV will be around halfway up. We'll now patch the MIDI module's MW out, MW for mod wheel, to the VCA's lower linear jack. Our mod wheel will now apply our LFO.